Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Snake Hall on Tabletop Simulator. I'm joined by the English Gamer, by Ostrix, by Mitch the Mage, and by Law. Uh, check out their channels. The links will be in the description below. Please go and give them a look. Uh, and let me know if you want to see some more of this, and we'll make sure we uh, we get to creating some more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. I am a spy. Ooh. That's why I have an English accent. Mm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Don't all Sorry. rush me at once. Okay. Three so... people in this group are already the most badass people ever. Badass villains, so. <coughs> you're, um, <laughs> you're a spy, you know, and. Don't tell everyone. You know. Okay, okay, you are a. A person who may or may not be a spy, you cannot tell. But if you was a spy, just out of guess, I have the perfect thing for you. You know, when you're going around and you're silently killing everyone, you're gonna need this. It is the wire jacket, okay? And it's not just any old wire. I don't know why, but I thought you were gonna say wire <laughs> hanger. <laughs> it is. It's it's the perfect thing to kill like russian kgb spies you know you just take a little bit of wire out a little bit garret and wire around their head boom job done <clears throat> i mean that is about it i could draw you a nice little picture so to get this clear i take it my own jacket apart to kill them no 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 no, no. it's just like you know like when you have like an old t-shirt or something and a little bit of thread comes out where you just pull that little bit of thread turns into a piece of garret and wire okay um Question. What about airports? What about them? You have your own jet, you're a spy. I don't have my own jet. The point of being a spy is I have to blend in. <laughs> so you're a poor spy? <laughs> well, I'm a spy spy. Stop thinking James think Bond. Him. He's, he's 007. James, James Bond has his own jet. I'm not James Bond. I said stop thinking James Bond. Oh. oh. I'm just a, spy, just a regular spy. I mean, well, I like case, the idea of a, of a killer jacket. I'm not going to lie, but I'm just concerned that that case, getting through the airport. You can have a head shield. Okay. What does that do? <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much just what it says. I like it. So in case someone was trying to kill me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. cool. Let's hope they go for the head. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's not like there's the rest of a torso or anything down below. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say something dirty. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh. Next. All right. You're a spy, right? <laughs> I am. Okay. So you want to be as inconspicuous as possible, correct? And you want to be able to get through TSA. You want to be able to get through like metal detectors and shit like that without causing any kind of bullshit happening, right? Absolutely, yeah. So... Oh. I want to fit in. Do you want to be a bouncer when you grow up too? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I have for you something that's going to work out really well. It's going to be a razor pen. And now what a razor pen does, since we all know that there are specialized pens that can, you know, be made out of metal if you want them to be made out of special stuff. Uh, the razor pen is a perfect addition to being a spy since you can get through the TSA, since it's going to go off and they're going to look at it and be like, oh, it's just a pen. But inside is a razor where, you know, you have to actually activate it, but either way. Um, so that way you can be as covert as possible, something that can be put in your pocket, something that's not going to be very, you know, bad. Um, and yeah, it'll help you be a spy in the most conspicuous way possible. Hey, what was the razor part of it? The razor part of it is inside the pen. Okay. So you have to take like the cap off and things like that. And then so underneath can... the actual pen pen, like inside of the inside of the well is a, is a razor. Okay. So you can like literally shank people with it. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I thought you, I had to shave. <laughs> <laughs> that too. You can do that too. <laughs> okay. What else we got? Okay, so um, oh, oh, Mitch, I'm sorry. Oh, you no, you go ahead. You go ahead. Are, are you sure? Yeah, you're cool. 
Okay, so um, if if Scott, you would like to just step it over here into my office, I I've drawn some lovely diagrams for you. So <laughs> you can see. So my 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 pitch to you is the uh, the uh, the so the uh, hold on uh, laser laser gum laser gum. That's right. Now because you're a spy and you're traveling a, a lot you want to you know you want to blend in with the crowd you don't want to look like you're uh, doing anything naughty you know you got you got important missions that you need to get underway with and you can't fail either you know these are going to be top quality missions that you just can't fail so <laughs> when you're um, you know about doing your business and you see that you're in trouble if you just if you just um, uh, if you just look here you know you're in a bit of you're in a spot of bother here so you just get out your gum your laser gum <laughs> And you pop it into your mouth. You pop it into your mouth right here, right here. And when you chew it, it activates the uh, the laser inside. And what you can do is, if you look over here, you you fire it out, oh and God. you can you can not only kill your enemies, like you could break into places, like you could you know cut through a, a door if you had to, you know. You could the, the 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 possibilities with this product are endless. Okay. It almost sounds like the laser lips. Wait. How did you do that arrow thing? That's the thing I'm most curious about. The product, I don't care. <laughs> so, I is mean, it safe? it's it's perfectly safe. It's not going to harm you. It's been tested many times before on uh, animals. So, yeah, hey. I mean, possibilities of this are, are endless. So, right, it sounds sounds very intriguing. You know. Yeah. I mean, I do get to go to quite a lot of swanky events. I'm slightly worried about the idea of chewing gum. Those swanky events, but yeah. it, it comes in different flavors as well. You got banana, you got it wasn't um, necessarily the flavor I was worried about. <laughs> you got um, your apple, <laughs> you got you got blueberry, can't forget blueberry. Everyone likes a bit of blueberry, and um, and you got uh, you got, you got a strawberry, you got all your flavors. You know, you know, just you know, just give me a call, let me know. Okay, thanks very gun. much for that, appreciate it, Mr. Mitch. What have you got for me? All right, so I've also drawn a diagram. You might be wondering what this is. I am absolutely wondering what the hell that is. <laughs> I am too. So let's talk. It looks like a so, fly catcher. Give your best guess on what this thing is. is I don't think a, you can guess. A jail cell escaper. All right. So we got what we got here. It's called the paper virus. Oh. Oh, you've heard of paper cuts, right? Mm -hmm. Paper cuts suck. They freaking sting. They do. Well, this is like the worst possible kind of paper cut, as it contains one of two deadly viruses. Or actually, one's just a chemical compound called ricin, but the other one is the bubonic plague. So <laughs> this uh this could be a mass mass killing of an entire country, or just the killing of one person. Basically, how you use it is you unfold it, and it's it has very tiny microfiber blades on the end of it, and it also is coated with whichever poison you chose. So, uh, yeah, if you need to assassinate Hitler, or Hitler, or, uh, kind of dead already. Hitler, one. But <laughs> or how, basically how I, be Hitler. How do I? Uh, how do I hand over product. the paper? So you, this is kind of like a you know like a little business card or whatever. Okay. So you like walk up to Hitler and you're like, so uh, here's my number. It's gonna be a bit weird that I'm wearing gloves when I hand it over. <laughs> you don't need to be. You just okay. unfold it, right? right? You unfold it the right way. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can I can I just say that it it is a cool product. I'm not gonna lie, but what happens if he's in a sticky situation where it's a gunfight and he just pulls out a bit of paper? I mean, it's not really gonna <laughs> save, is it? Make a paper airplane. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, like I said, you could either cause one death or cause an entire species to die. I mean, I'm uh, one's bubonic plague and one's right. Excuse so me, like, excuse me like Mr. Cow. From Hitler. You could excuse me, Mr. Cow. Can I just Hitler. pass you this letter? <laughs> <laughs> you could be running from Hitler, and you could just like you know stab some random bystander, and they won't they won't get the effects immediately. But over time, you definitely wipe out. Um, I'm going to be honest, and... they're all pretty good, actually. Who'd have thought I'd be saying that, apart from the head shield? Although the diagram, <laughs> the diagram is pretty spectacular. Hey, I drew Although, a thumbs up for it. I'm questioning it's why good. I'm going, doing that with my mouth. <laughs> wow. Um, I think I'm going to have to go laser gum. That feels, <laughs> like, that feels like the most spy of all, from honest Are you with you. serious? 
I, I, you know what I'm saying. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> ridiculous too. I don't agree with your choice, Mr. Spy. <laughs> you are the world's worst spy. Well, that's, why I'm a, <laughs> that's why I'm a spy and you're not. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm an inventor of he's, the he's patented the head shield. Spy. When, you have, when you have laser gum, the possibilities are endless. We got tree hugger. All right. You I'm an official tree hugger. <laughs> I am the the bane of the world, tree hugger. There we go. So uh, wow me with your devices. I want to see nature at its best work. Oh fucking hell! Really? <laughs> How about not that? How about something different to that? Um, let's see it. I might be chaining myself to a tree tonight. So sorry, I deleted your armor. <laughs> I, I can't even un uncolor my drawing without it like messing up everything. How is vector a lot? Oh shit! Oh, no, that's all good. Yeah. Whoops. It's alright. Um. Um. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah. Happens. Tree hugger. You say. You know, Mr. Tree Hugger, you spend a lot of time outside. Hugging trees. Oh, yes. You know, Definitely. that's what you do. Um, <laughs> which, um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Which, um, <laughs> which you know, I do smell bad. You know, it's, it, it's yeah, hard work. I've got nothing, you know, so. What I would say is, is the thing about hugging trees, right? Is it's really, really bad for your hands. You know, you're hugging you could, bark yeah. all day long. It hurts. Eventually, it hurts. Um, so I've come up with this really new product you won't have seen it before it's incredible what it does is it sort of moisturizes it uh, revitalizes the skin it removes wrinkles it's incredible deep cleanse it's amazing what i've got for you my friend is hand cream <laughs> <laughs> that's it this is, oh my god this is like, speechless. This is like going up to a tree like your bone you should take a shower <laughs> but keep on going I want to see where this goes. No, that's it. Just hand cream. Oh, all right. You literally just put it on your hands. And, you know, I mean, you might have seen things a little bit similar like it in shops already. Um, but this is different. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> so he's going to offer you hand cream. I know that you're a tree hugger and everything, but what do hippies love the most? They love their hippie vans, right? They all have hippie vans. All of them. So I'm going to offer you a prize van. For your generous, <laughs> your generous, um, you know, contributions to society by bringing awareness that trees have feelings too. Well, so, think... instead of living inside of a house that gives off way more of a carbon footprint than a van does, just turned off or that you can live in, I decided that uh, <laughs> I'd offer you a price van. <laughs> well, I just gotta ask: Does it come with complimentary? Complimentary weed. I yes, it comes with complimentary weed. All right, good, because my stash is out. Mm -hmm. And it comes in any color you want, if you were wondering about that as well. So, uh, It doesn't matter, man. <laughs> as long as I'm harming the, the skies with pollution, because those old vans kind of suck. <laughs> okay, well, you said that you're a tree hugger, okay? And you said you might be chaining yourself to a tree tonight. You don't need... You don't need to do that, okay? And how about if you could hug two trees at once? Oh, I'm liking where this is going, man. You are. Well, check this. I've got the sleep net. Oh, the sleep net. So it, it is pretty much what it is. It is a net that you sleep on. <laughs> you know, you, oh, put it, you put it in between two trees. It's like you're hugging them both at the same time. That's Dude, I, I think you're a revolution. Uh, revolution. Uh, nah, I can't talk because I'm a tree hugger. All right, sounds cool, man. Does it come with weed? Um, unfortunately oh, not. Today. Is it made out of hemp? It possibly could be. <laughs> Is that what the fucking hand <laughs> dispenser looks like? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? You know, you know, I, 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 I,
this position because dicks are very natural. Phallus Absolutely. Very you natural. wanted to get back to nature. What's more natural? Exactly. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, thanks, thanks for thinking of my needs. Indeed. It's all I think about. Arts. <laughs> all right. Bob, let's see yours. Okay. So um, if you just step into... Uh into my office um, and just just look at these lovely diagrams that I've just crafted up now He's for a very important meeting the um, well okay we'll, we'll, we'll go outside then okay it will it'll go to a place in your mind where you think it's outside so I'm gonna present to you this amazing new product called the uh, the the vest the vest ear the vest ear yes what? the vest ear is the best um, um. <laughs> So what does help. the vest, what does the vest ear do? Well, what it does is um, you wear it, and it records all of the uh, bird songs <laughs> that you uh, walk past. So it's it's great for you know looking after nature if you think about it. And what it, what it so if you if you look at this diagram here, you're you're wearing it, and like let's say a a bird swoops by, um, and you know it it makes a sound. You can record the sound on your phone and then you can like plug that into your computer and be like oh damn you know it's that bird we'll, we'll, we'll monitor the population so it's all very good stuff or he's a, he's a tree hugger though he doesn't have access to a computer okay well then you can save it to a database of some kind um again or what you can do is you can put your vest on a tree and it, it will be like it will let members of the public know that this tree is protected don't come near this tree um, and it keeps the tree nice and warm, and and at the same time it recalls the uh, sound of the uh, birds. So that, yeah, that's what that's, is this vest made out of? Uh, it's 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 made out of um, a a be belly a yak belly goat hair. Yes. <laughs> that's something that a tree hugger would actually want to put on a tree. It's kind of like putting dead animal carcass on a tree. I, I uh, literally had I literally had whoa. nothing. I, really, I only said I was a tree hugger. That if it was made out of cotton, that's Wait, basically what, putting what tree does, on tree. Like what does a tree hugger actually mean? Because when I hear tree hugger I kinda of think someone that's really like in touch with like Hippie. protecting trees. Yeah, in yeah. in tune with nature, loving nature type of thing. But like when you say hippie you make them sound like they're druggies. They kind of work. <laughs> So uh, I have a question for Scott. This is natural, yeah? How much weed has this person like, consumed before they uh, squirt their nice hand cream onto my hand? Well, it's you, so as much as you as you want. I just want to draw your attention to the, the natural state <laughs> of the dispenser here. You think I can get high from this substance? Yeah, possibly. I, have, I mean, we haven't done any animal testing on it. <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's probably not safe, but... <laughs> Well, I didn't say I. I, I always said I was a tree hugger. I never <laughs> say I was an animal rights What is what is all of this here? What is that? <laughs> this is the dispenser. Um, <laughs> it's Velcro. Oh my god! So wait, hold, natural, on, hold on. Can, can you explain so, what is going on? But what's what's this bit? So how do you do that arrow? I want to know. Please teach if, me. Just if so you, you know, click, um, we also sell an extra you, long. It's your large bottle. <laughs> if you click F5 and then you click on the table, it will do the arrow thing. Oh, okay. Yay! So, so yeah, uh, what, what's, what's this? So this is the natural dispenser. This is the natural dispenser. I base all of my stuff on who's going to give me the most weed. So I'm, th I'm going to have to go with the prize van. Yay, prize van! You can store the most weed. Thank you! I drew two cocks for that as well. Rubbish. Hey, I'm looking for a couch to crash on. I'm still night. Shouldn't be the night I go home with anyone.
short foot on the show. I'm dancing on the tables and I must say I got a taste for flipping out. I'm glancing at the haters and I know they wish they did the shit I did tonight. She wanna break some things I hide. All of the cups are out of sight. She wanna drink cause I can buy. You're dancing on the table, so am I. I'm not usually. Put on. 